up y'all it's your girl and i for kicks we are back with another youtube video i feel like it's been forever but your girl has kind of been hyper focused on soul safe and getting all of the valuable information for the incredible app out to y'all via instagram reels so if you're not following your girl on instagram go do that right now um it's just a quick little you know, little follow button but you guys will see all of the valuable information that I post on there as well as your girl's little fit pics. Um, I try hard, guys. I try hard in this South Florida heat. I'll be out there sweating to get a good picture. So make sure you go show, show your girl some love. Um, but before I get into the video, I want to make sure that all y'all know, like if, you, if you've missed the previous videos, specifically on Soul Safe, if you've missed all of the reels, Whatever the case may be, make sure that you guys go download the SoulSafe app. And I know a lot of y'all are probably like, oh my god, I already have so many apps for sneakers. Oh, I already have so many to go through. There's too many to count. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, that's fine and dandy, but y'all need this one. Like, this is the one app that takes everything about being a sneakerhead and puts it into one place in the palm of your hand. It is a free app available for Androids and iPhones, um, so you don't have to battle on that one. It, everything seems to be geared toward iPhones anymore, but this one shows love for both types of phones. And then guys, if you use your girl's code, I'm gonna pop it up, put in the description, whatever I gotta do for y'all. Use the code, you get $5 instantly. So you can apply that towards, you know, some sneaker insurance or SoulSafe also now has a marketplace. Like when I tell you it's everything about being a sneakerhead, you've got the community, you've got adding, tracking, keeping the value of your collection on hand, you've got, you know, the sneaker insurance, and you've also got now a marketplace. So guys, you can apply that $5 towards a marketplace purchase. All the information is on the app. Go download it, use the code while you're signing up, and then like I keep saying, thank your girl later because I'm always giving you some good stuff. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into the video. Wait, I almost forgot. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. You're already following me on Instagram now. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up for this video because, again, guys, it is hot. It is May. It is South Florida. It is hot, and I'm still trying to get this content out for y'all. Um, and also, make sure you hit that notification bell because... I plan on doing a giveaway of one of my many favorite sneakerhead things in the very near future. And you just, you never know what kind of content you're going to get from your girl, whether it's, you know, a pickup vlog, you know, a random haul, maybe a top five for the first quarter of 2024, you know, a sneaker event vlog. You're always going to get something different. So hit that bell so you don't miss any of it. Speaking of top five pairs, you know, for the quarter, first quarter of 2024, like we're really breaking it down. And I feel like the rate that Nike, I mean, sneaker, you know, brands in general are pushing kicks at us. Like I really feel like it's best to start breaking them down throughout the year because let's be honest, like we're in May and from January to April, like there's pairs that I was like, oh yeah, that actually did come out and that's only a couple of months. It's crazy, guys. Um, I have most of the pairs on hand because they were in my top five. So obviously I had to grab them in one way, shape, or form, whether for myself or for hubby and probably eventually for myself. But I want you guys, as always, to chime in. Drop it in the comments below as we go. You know, do you agree with the pairs that I'm talking about? Are there some pairs that you think I missed? Maybe there's a banger that I wasn't even aware of. Let your girl know in the comments below. Um, I always love you guys' feedback. So let's get into it. And this is in no particular order, um, but y'all know your girl is a sucker for some OG type shoes as well as I love a good detail. I feel like a lot of the shoes on the list, well, more than half of them, and it's only five, but more than half of them are like OG, like retro, you know. So again, no particular order. I'm going to start off with the Jordan 4 Bread Reimagined. I mean, I feel like this one is a must. Um, I feel like 
this one, I said it before in plenty of little interviews and videos, but this definitely topped the military or industrial blue fours that they gave us that are the most like the OGs, but everybody hates that shade of blue. So I get it, like whatever your issue is with them, maybe you just love them. I don't know, it was a pass for your girl. Like I said, I wasn't just capping for the camera. Um, but I had to go with, you know, this is definitely one of the top five so far this year. It's probably going to be in the top for the entire year, but, you know, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. We still have a long way to go, but, I mean, not a lot needs to be said about this shoe, guys. Like, let's be honest, all the content creators, while this shoe is totally worth it, we, um, we did a lot of content on this shoe, and, I mean... I feel like at this point, people are tired of seeing content on it, but y'all already know, this shoe is incredible. The leather is phenomenal, great for South Florida. Like I keep saying, it was a no-brainer, the Reimagined Bread 4s. Um, so let's jump, in on, jump on into the next one. So this one is not your girl size, but this is one that, that I, I think Hubby's been wanting this since, before we even knew that Nike was going to give us a retro of this shoe. This was one of those, like, it was so hard to find in his size. And the only one I saw available had no insoles, which is kind of like, we thought about it. And then all of a sudden we saw, hey, they're going to be retroing. So, like, all right, we'll hold off. We'll take our chance. We got our, you know, L's across the board and every raffle we could find, sneakers app, all of the above mom took an L for your girl um but you know so your girl had to make it happen but we do have the Kobe no I'm not great with the Kobe numbers Jordan numbers I got you the silhouette numbers I got you all day long guys but so give your girl a pass um so we do have the Italian camo Kobe's though they I mean this is this is a freaking fire shoe like I don't I don't care if you're not a fan of Kobe's at all like you cannot tell me that this is not a beautiful shoe so I feel like this is kind of um, a haul on like recent pickups in addition to they just fit into that top five but the Italian camos are so beautiful let me know like is this a shoe that y'all slept on because you're not a big Kobe person is it something that you went for I feel like stock was fairly low for this shoe um but it was still a lot easier to grab than before they did the retro it's such a beautiful shoe your girl will be eventually grabbing a pair in her size so yes sorry guys i i'll be getting caught up in the shoes when they're in hand and i can't help myself and then i just fall in love with them all over again all right so um since we're talking about Kobe's, you know, when those released, they did do a release of like three different Kobe's. You had those, you had the Phillies, and you had the Venice Beaches. Now, talking of Venice Beaches, if y'all have been up with your girl's content, if you saw the sneaker battle that your girl walked away with, um, with the belt in Miami in December, that was, it feels like it was forever ago already, um, your girl had on the Venice beaches and the South beaches for one of the questions. So you already know your girl had had a pair. I had the original pair. So here they are. Um, and I honestly, they're used. I don't have an issue with used shoes. We used some deodorizer. We cleaned them up. We had to do, you know, your over shoe renator. Let me help you out there. We used some deodorizer, cleaned them up a little bit, but I didn't realize quite how dirty, like you can't really tell. Looking at them, they look super clean. But then when Hubby got his Venice Beaches um, in hand, I was like, why do they look so gray? I don't remember mine having that much gray. Um, guys, they are the same. Mine are just vastly dirtier. Um, it's kind of embarrassing, but you know, we're, we're keeping it 100 for y'all. Um, one thing that I'm super impressed with and kind of surprised, especially considering Nike's quality control anymore, is so the the design on the shoe I thought was kind of like, you know, it's obviously a painterly type look to it, but I thought it was more at random, like maybe they just had like a, a bunch of cloth with the print on it and they're just chopping it up and putting it on shoes, but 
if you look, the print is exactly the same on the OG version versus the newly released version for 2024. Um, I mean, that's insane the, the way that they were able to get that this exactly the same. I mean, I can't find a single difference from like the little shadowing on the orange bit here. It's all the same. Again, big surprise for Nike's quality control, but also huge props to Nike's quality control on these. Um, what did you guys think? Now, I I do think it's a fire shoe. It's a it's kind of a wonky silhouette. It does tend to make your foot look elongated, but I feel like Kobe's are really like shoes that guys, people in general love to wear to play basketball in. Your girl's not a baller, so I'm gonna wear them as a lifestyle shoe, but let your girl know. I also, one, I think one of the reasons I pushed Hubby to keep them is because the insole, if I can get it out, it's like really, really, you can see it without me pulling it out. The insole is completely different. It's got like these little bumps on it. It's it's um, it's um, like a foam, but it's not like that almost cloth covered type of insole that you get with every other shoe. Like y'all know what I'm talking about. If you don't like go look at your other shoes. It's, it's a very soft, very smooth. This one's almost got like a, a tackiness to it very slightly just because of the material, but it's it's just so different from any other insole i've ever seen which is kind of i feel like that's kobe's thing like he wants something that is super comfortable and he wanted something that um you know molds to your foot something that's very customizable especially for playing ball so nike stands true to that sorry guys i can talk on and on and on about these shoes like i feel like i really should have done an unboxing video for each shoe but time just got away from me and i have too much upcoming to sit down and do individual videos which again is why you should hit that notification bell um i had to add a dunk to the list it was not the um like the city of love pack either one of those i do have the burgundy pair that came out for valentine's day I did not add that to the list just because while I love the shoe, I feel like if I'm going to put a dunk, it's going to be something that's a little bit more like, you know, I feel more of a connection with something, you know, your girl's got a big thing for details. So something that's got a little bit more detail to it. So I had to go. Now these were not a W. These were like a resale pickup. But it was a really good price because these things did not do the numbers that, that I thought they were going to do. I feel like I just glitched it. Anyhow, so we've got the big money savings. Um, and oh, I pulled out the one with the nice long receipt on the tongue. I have not put them on foot yet, so I'm not sure how that feels. But it's, it's fine. I, you know your girl's going to make it work. You do have the extra laces which I love that they made them the same rope style laces, um, which is, it's just giving very Travis Scott dunks. I love it. I love the details. I've seen people talk about them like, um, you know, oh, like thrift store vintagey, which I totally see. But I also saw them called like the Live Laugh Loves. So kind of like a nod to like a Hobby Lobby, or I guess you could say even a Michaels, but specifically Hobby Lobby, you've got like the, the live, laugh, love signs everywhere. You've got all the like vintage -y type of like little wall decor or, you know, the, the vases that you have, like the aluminum vases with similar print to like what's on the side. I feel like there are elements of Hobby Lobby all over this shoe. And I feel like so many pairs remind me of my grandma anymore um, because we used to like, that was our, our outing like let's go to the mall and let's hit up Hobby Lobby while we're out there and it was always like she was always buying a new trunk or some sort of decor that my grandpa would seriously side eye her like you just bought something do you really need something else and the answer was always yes yes we do um, and then you've got like the Nike on the back which is kind of like in a similar script to what you would see on like the the live laugh love or whatever inspirational cutesy little wording on the signs around there um, super super dope pair again another no-brainer on the top five for the first quarter 
of 2024. That's a lot, guys. Yeah, it's it's a clean shoe. I mean, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Like, if I was to change out the laces, which I don't know, I kind of like the tan. Which one do you think? Because I want to love the orange because I love orange. I love the hints of orange. Um, but I've also seen the blue in them and they really slap. Like, I mean, hard. So let your girl know in the comments below. Um, so that's... No, we did not put this on the list. I lied. The Venice Beaches are not on the list. That's kind of like a, you know since they all released around the same time. These are on the list. I've got two more, which I don't have, but I'll pop up images for y'all. We have the Jackie Robinson Air Max Ones, which is another really tried to get for Hubby. It would have been his first Air Max One, um, but he, he preferred these bad boys. So, you know, we don't have the Air Max Ones in hand yet. But they are a fire shoe. Um, I, I love the contrast of the all white with that, you know, navy blue around it. I didn't, I don't think I loved them at first. I think it kind of grew on me. Um, but I mean, for an Air Max one, and it's a big bubble version of the Air Max one, which is super dope. I know a lot of people are really loving, you know, the big bubble kind of trend. We started out with the red and white ones, like the classic OG that came out. So we'll see what else they give us as far as that. Um, I don't have a lot to say on the shoe because I don't have it in hand. It hits different. When you do, you notice a lot more things. Um, I think the last spot is kind of like up for debate because I'm like, all right, well, we could put a trophy room in there. We do have the trophy room one low, the rookie cards that dropped. But I, I don't know. I'm starting to feel like trophy rooms are starting to get... I don't want to say played out, but it's the same people getting them, the same people rocking them, the same, you know, those, the lows aren't going for a crazy amount. So like, if it's something you fell in love with and you really, really want, you can definitely like, I feel you can make it happen. It's not, it's pretty financially feasible, especially if you're a true sneakerhead. Um, but I'm, I have those kind of up there with the eggplant foam posits because now we're starting to get like classic foam posit releases happening again but your girl needs those galaxies i passed on the eggplants but the galaxies those are going to be a problem um especially as far as foams go because not a, i feel like foams don't get the love that they deserve um but let me know like which which shoe would you put in with the top five are we going with the foams or are we going with the trophy rooms also i feel like adidas deserves a you know, honorable mention, if nothing else, for the Ninja Turtles that they gave us, the Shell Toe Ninja Turtles, which was kind of like genius and like on a creative mindset. Like, I freaking love those. I was hoping, I saw a pair in Miami at the mall, and it was, of course, the only pair left. And I think it was like a size eight. If they had my size, it would have been like a sign from the sneaker gods, like, like, oh, just grab this shoe. It's yours. You need it in the collection. The details go crazy on that. The insole, I think it has an imagery on the top. And then if you remove it, it's got like the sewer system below. I think the top of it is like the pizza and the cheese and stuff. I could be wrong. Um, I just remember like multiple imagery in there. And then of course the fact that they made the shell toe of the Adidas an actual like turtle shell. Just freaking it makes sense it really makes sense i feel like they didn't have to think too hard about it but it works so beautifully also your girl was kind of feeling the bape collab um that adidas did because it's not like your traditional you know you have like the the bathing ape imagery with the camo and the, all that it's not so much in your face bape but it was really like subtly and nicely done. I'll pop some images. They did two different colorways. One was a little bit lighter green. One was a little bit darker, almost a bluish hint to it. Um, I liked the darker one. Again, it's like one of those, if I would have found them like for retail, I probably would have made it happen because they just, I don't know. It's one of those things they just kind of speak to you, but they're not hype. So, I mean, it's a hype collab, but it's not like hype. Like everybody has to have them. It's bape. So, you know, whatever. But 
Um, yeah, so again, guys, let me know in the comments below, um, you know, your take on any of the pairs I showed. Um, would you have substituted something else? Let me know. Maybe, as I said again, guys, maybe there's something that completely slipped to my mind because we've already had so many good pairs, but this is just the first quarter of the year. So we'll just be breaking it down throughout the year. And if you don't have that notification bell hit and you're not subscribed to the channel, guys, I feel really bad for you because you're going to miss out on something amazing. So guys, as always, keep tuning in, see what I've got my eye on next.